Hello, and welcome back to Let's Play Dynamite Hetty. Last time we were just entering this castle, infiltrating it, uh, after beating the uh, gatekeeper, and his evil self. Now we are getting a secret bonus point by destroying this guy's bullets three times. It's actually the only secret bonus point that I know of in this level, well, the one of two that I know of in this level. I doubt I'll be getting the second one, so... Oh well. So we'll see. Ow! I don't know how that happened. Um, Hedy. Come on, man. None of this. Trying to find secret bonus points, by the way. It was worth a shot. You actually don't need to make stairs, like, they're trying to encourage you to make stairs, but that's all you need to do. And let's, uh, recover that health we lost for really stupid reasons. And then turn invisible to fight this guy. And the gimmick of this boss is the reverse gravity thing that we've been dealing with in for a, a little bit now. Um, I'm not sure which ball actually does the most damage here, but uh, I know which ball is the most annoying, and it's the tiny one, because the tiny one bounces every fucking where. And the balls will actually do more damage to you in this fight than like anything else will, because the balls are the hardest thing to avoid this battle. His laser does a lot of damage too, but, you know, his laser doesn't bounce every fucking where. But just make sure to get him with some balls and he's down. Easy, easy dude there. And then we press onward to meet Twin Freaks, who is the most annoying boss in this game. Okay, just the most annoying boss in this game. I don't want to hear anyone say otherwise. Say, hey, I thought Twin Freeze was easy, because if you thought Twin Freeze was easy, you're fucking lucky as shit. Because this boss, really fucking hard, man. Really fucking hard. Come on, Hetty, don't, don't annoy me now. Nope, let's not do that. You gotta make sure to try to keep alive, because, you know, getting close really doesn't mean anything, because your death can be just moments away. But, I got him, so. So, good. Good. And I got another try. So that was good. That was good. I'm happy about that. I'm very happy about that, because that is a very hard boss, and you will see how many tries I had to do with that crap, man. It's just really annoying. Now, give me a moment while I adjust my microphone. Okay, now this level is a kind of uh, elevator level, I suppose. I uh, haven't really gotten this far in the game, if you didn't know. Uh, Twin Freaks usually killed me, so I haven't gotten too far in this game uh, outside of that level, Twin Freaks, so I can't really say for sure what goes on here, but uh... You get a secret bonus point by destroying that guy, I didn't really know that. But, uh... You want to make sure not to, uh, die by these spikes, because that would be tragic. Like that. Um... Yeah! Let's try to have that not happen. But this is a hard level. I mean, this game is really tough. If Twin Freaks didn't convince you already, 
This game is really tough in the ending levels. I mean, it's like cruel. <laughs> like, it's not even just tough, it's like unfairly cruel at this point. Like, it expects you to do a lot of things. Some of which just aren't cool, man. Really? I don't get it, but hey. I don't know what just happened there, but I'll take it. I ain't complaining about that shit. You saw what just happened there? You saw how much I survived? Oh, come on, this is gonna happen again? See, see, this is exactly bullshit. Like, I do good on Twin Freaks, and... Now I'm getting my ass kicked on this level, and I really have no business getting my ass kicked on this level. I mean, it's tough, but come on, there, there's no... There, I have no business dying there at that spot. There, there, I have absolutely no business dying in that spot. But, you know, whatever. Just whatever. Oh, come on. Like, I've got absolutely no business dying there. Like, see, that's all that had to happen. And, it, and I died twice. And that's all that really had to happen. It's just so... such a pain. But, you know, whatever. At least I beat Twin Freaks, you know? That's, that's definitely a big milestone. That's definitely a big achievement. Let me make sure I can get through this spot. And then you need the hammerhead for this crap. They really make you have to choose, pick and choose your path and, you know, get it fucking right. But, you can get through it. It's not that tough. The next level is kind of hard. And so... Man. I'm not actually controlling this part. I thought I was the first time, you know, and I was like, oh crap, no, Hedy, stop! But yeah. So something's happening. What? The, uh, charge beam dropped off. What? I don't know. It's going haywire. And that SF stands for Super Finangler, I believe. And that's ridiculous, man. This game is ridiculous. And look at Trouble Bruin and Hetty. It's the final Far Trek. Far Trek, like Star Trek, but only far. And get off of me, douchebag. Alright, so this level is, like, kind of a neat level. Because you're with Trouble Bruin, and he is, like, trying to mess you up while going through this, uh, while this, while his robot is malfunctioning and being super deadly, and so he tries to grab you and, like, save himself, and, like, cause, you're, like, you know, you run faster than him, apparently, so, you know, he's like, save me, Hetty, and you're like, no, you're, you're the biggest douchebag I know. And so he's like, Hetty, please, please save me! And you're like, no, whatever, dude. Stupid bear cat thing. Like, I don't even know what you are. Ow. Ow, man, ow. This is a hard level, though, I mean. It's not easy. Because he's, like, if he wasn't there, it would still be kind of tough. Because, I mean, with the, with the screen moving and all this stuff in the foreground, and the pillars in the foreground, it's really just kind of tough. But I think, I think it's done. I think it's done. I think it's over. Because he's not trying to grab me anymore. So... Yeah. <laughs> Suck it, dude. Suck it. Eat it! Alright. That is... Uh, that's that. And this is the final boss. We go from that straight into the final boss. And, uh, the final boss, Dark Demon, kidnaps Heather. Don't know where she came from. Hi, Heather. Bye, Heather. 
will save you, I think. And this guy is rough. As any final boss should be. Ow. Well, I guess I can use this time to, like, explain some stuff, like what's going on here. What's going on with this fight. Um, anytime the small head comes around, you kind of want to get it, because the small head will allow you to dodge things like this, which otherwise would generally impossible by any reasonable human being, so make sure that you get the small head when it's available. If not, go for the hammerhead, because you can do double damage that way. And, uh... I know, like, I'm, I'm dragging this out, but, because I'm going to die anyway, but still, you, you get to see what this guy is all about, and, hmm, I didn't even know where, what to go with there. Yeah, there's no hammerhead. If you get the hammerhead, you can pretty much kill those guys in one shot. That's why the hammerhead is so good, because it does double damage. Hammerhead, as you'll see now, they're not nearly as threatening. So they did still hit me, but it's all right. Okay. More... That's a very hard attack to dodge, really. Oh well, okay. Now let's see what's going on next. Um, I don't actually know what to pick, so I'll just pick this. Which seems to be a good, a good one. But I don't think I actually did any damage to him, so... Whatever. I'm grabbing that small head. See? Very easy to dodge with the small head. That's that's why I picked the small head above other things, because it usually it generally allows me to avoid taking damage. This this is a very Cool fight. I like the background, I like his design, I like the music, the music is really good. It's a really intense fight though. Ah, don't know if this was a wise choice though. Don't know if this was actually a good choice. I'm thinking no, but uh, but that's okay. Because I like to pick the small head just in case something like this were to happen and it would be beneficial to have the small head over just about anything. You didn't see like the, t the one attack that pretty much you need the small head for and that's always what I'm holding out for. Like these, this one and another, which is generally the same thing. Now this one I could have actually... Uh, survived with he normal heady in there, but th there's a rare chance that one even shows up. So again, probably not a the best choice, but uh, I'll survive. I'll survive. Okay. So you can dodge a lot of things as Small Heady, which is why I generally try to be it as long as it's offered. But when it's not, I tend to not pick it. Okay.
Oh no! Man! That was a really close fight. Really close fight. Okay, I think I'm gonna stop it here. You guys know that I'm gonna retry. You guys know that. So... Dark Demon defeated me, but we'll be back and we'll try it again. So... I'll see you guys next time on the final episode of Let's Play Dynamite Heady.